Right now we got Christine, Sam, Claire, and me, Django. Who came up with the concept for the name, and what does it mean? Um, the the name is actually um, it's it's from a song that we love. Um, okay. It's the name of a of a song that we really like by right. a, an artist called Anthony Harwood, who you wouldn't find anything about if you tried to look at him up online or, or anything he's just he basically doesn't exist but oh. <laughs> but um me and Django's dad um had a label called anxious records in the mm -hmm. late 80s early 90s and mm -hmm. um he signed this guy Anthony Harwood to the label um and he didn't realize that Anthony was a was a really really bad heroin addict. Um, okay. But he made this like like really incredible album. Um, but it, it never came out, and Anthony disappeared from the face of the earth basically, and no oh, one no. knows where he went. No one knows what happened to him. No one knows if he's dead or alive. It's there's like rumors that he moved to Afghanistan, <laughs> but like. Oh, gosh. But honestly, like it's it's we feel really lucky because we're one of the few people ever in the world to hear his music, and mm -hmm. it's really really special. And it's so, really amazing, yeah. Nightmare in the Cat is basically our favorite song by him. And, okay. And you know, I guess like it's open to interpretation. We don't really have a specific meaning for it. We just love the, the sound of it, and we love the song, and we love the way it looks when you write it down. And, you know, it's, I think it's, kind of, it's just quite intriguing and sort of has some sort of mystery about it. So, you know. oh, I like it. It is interesting. Um, okay, so what projects do you have coming up? All right, I want to know, who was your biggest influence musically growing up? Was it your famous father, or who did you listen to? Um, I mean, Sam and I have very different tastes, but I wouldn't say it was our father at all because we did go on tour with him and we had a lot of fun, but that wasn't really what got me into music itself. Um, I think James Brown from an early age, actually, I became obsessed with James Brown and I didn't even really connect it to my father or music. I just thought of that as, you know, dad's work and then... I kind of fell in love with Motown, James Brown, um, you know, um, and Michael Jackson and, you know, stuff like that. And Sam? Well, um, I've always been more into, like, rock music. So uh, I think the, the very first band that I got heavily into, well, I mean, the first band I, li I liked was Oasis, but I was like... I was like nine or something, <laughs> uh, but but the first band that I got really really heavily into was Nirvana, and uh, oh. Nirvana is the reason I started playing guitar, and you know I've just grown up listening to lots of different uh, you know rock bands and uh, I you know like I don't know I, like my, I guess the, the staples of my musical influences now would be the Pixies and the Beatles and Radiohead. I don't know, yeah, they're just some bands that I really love. And uh, I love yeah. Too. And Claire, Claire Claire has a has an amazing musical background as well. Oh really? Tell me about that. Oh it's not um my grandfather is a conductor and composer. And so he was a really big influence musically. Who's your grandfather? Well, this is going to be funny because his name is Ray Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's it's not that Ray Charles. He's a different Ray Charles. It's another oh, Ray Charles. It's the other Ray Charles, right? Do you know who the Do you know Perry Cuomo is? Yes, I do. He was like Claire, right? Ray Ray was Perry Cuomo's like composer. Band leader, yeah. conductor, all that kind of stuff. What has been your best experience as Nightmare and the Cat so far? One thing that we did which was amazing was um, 
in last September, we uh, collaborated with a circus troupe called Troupe Vertigo, and uh, mm -hmm. we played a sold-out show at the Ford Amphitheater in Los Angeles, and that was pretty, that was such a special night for, for me, and I think for all of us. The circus was such a highlight, it was so much fun, but I also love when we play with Gary Baseman, it's really, I think it's really fun, and I don't, I've never really seen it before, so I think it's really exciting when we do that. Me too, actually. I'd have to agree with Claire that Gary Baseman makes me feel like it really, really is all about the art, and it, and he's so inspired by us, and we're so inspired by him. What projects do you have coming up? Um, what do we we're have We're going to do up? a TED Talk. You know TED.com? No, I don't. It's it's a really really cool website. Um, it's just a bunch of. It sounds really boring when I explain it, but I promise it's not. It's a website full of lectures. People, various people, giving lectures on different things. It could be anything from, you know, like body parts to food to chemistry to music to art to oh. anything. It's yeah, just it's basically innovative. It's, it's, yeah, all exactly. All the lectures are, are on innovation and just innovative people giving the talks. Yeah. So we mentioned earlier that we that we have collaborated with the circus, and yeah. we we're actually doing the TED conference with with the circus, and we're going to be talking about our collaboration with them. And the theme of the of the talk is supposed to be like ordinary people doing extraordinary things. But oh, at, at the cool. moment, we're still trying to work out how to tie that in, <laughs> into our performance. Hey, Miss Glisten, but the stars are dead. Me, the secret's hiding in her hair. You introduce me to the dead air.